We are at the Mountain Creek Grill with the number five women's bantamweight in the world, the Venezuelan vixen. <laughs> Juliana Pena, how are you today? Fabulous, how are you doing? I am doing excellent. Is You are currently undefeated in the UFC with a 4-0 record. Before coming into the UFC and winning the Ultimate Fighter, you lost the last two fights before going into the UFC. What changed... Uh, you know, in that process that now you're fighting for the best organization in the world against the best fighters in the world. Uh, what changed for you? Gosh, you know, those two losses was a really hard time in my career. Um, I had just recently got ran over. I was walking on the sidewalk. I got nailed by a car. My nose was shattered and I had a fight like seven days before that against Lauren Murphy in Alaska. Um, and that put me out for, for a while up until my nose healed and I took a fight on short notice um, to save an MMA show locally that was uh, lost their main event. So I stepped in, did them a favor, and I took my first loss, not taking her seriously at all because at that point I thought it was just me and Misha in the state of Washington that knew how to roll and what fighting was all about. So I definitely underestimated my opponent. Um, my second loss, I cut 23 pounds in eight days, and uh, I was completely emaciated. I couldn't make a fist. I was dehydrated, and uh, I didn't know what I was doing. So I think with those two losses before getting into the UFC, I wasn't taking my career as seriously as I could have. I think um, after those two losses and after taking my career very seriously after that, knowing that women have the potential to fight in the UFC is when um, I, w when I started to, to nail everything down more solidly. Um, I started to get more serious about my training and take my fights more seriously. I quit taking short notice fights and uh, so far I've been successful. Your last fight was at UFC 200. It was a win over Kat Zingano. You're currently ranked number five and Valentina Shevchenko is ranked number three. Pretend I am UFC president Dana White for just one minute and tell me why I should skip number three and go to number five. Okay, Dana, you know that you guys literally created a number three to jump ahead of me to be number three. So you know it's, it's bull. You know it. Um, this girl already lost to the champion. I won the Ultimate Fighter. I'm the first female to win the Ultimate Fighter. I've never been rewarded for that. I didn't get no Land Rover. I... I uh, I didn't get any extra bonus for fight of the season or, or submission of the season, even though I finished everyone inside of two rounds and even though I had the best fights, in my opinion. You know, I was never rewarded for that. The other girls in the 115 division got a belt at the end of the Ultimate Fighter. I've finished and, and fought everybody, and I don't... I don't think anyone has beat more people in the women's division and not got a title shot. I've seen girls take losses and get title shots. So for them to just create this number three when I just beat number three um, and to jump her ahead of me, is it makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, so for the fact that I haven't got a title shot is I can't wrap my brain around it for the life of me. And uh, no one is more deserving of this title shot than me. Um, so I feel like I'm the clear-cut choice for the uh, being the number one contender. I don't look at myself as ranked as number five. I looked at myself as ranked number one, and uh, I, I just want to fight fight for the belt and fight for what's mine and, and show everyone that I am the force to be reckoned with that I've been saying for, for many years. So Amanda Nunes is the champion, and uh, recently you've talked about how you think that she is ducking you. Uh, you've also had your issues with Ronda Rousey, who is currently sitting on the shelf. She's not coming back. So given the opportunity, either a title fight or the money fight with Ronda Rousey, if you had to choose, which do you choose, title fight or money fight? You know, in this case, it's not about the money. It's about, uh, it's about pride. It's about this girl telling me that I don't deserve to breathe the same air as another human being. I want to beat up Ronda Rousey, and so I will take that Ronda fight all day long. Very interesting. All right, we have two fan questions. The first one comes from Thomas Pallone. He's, he's asking, suppose you get the next title shot and you, and you win the title, where would you want your first title defense to take place? 509 oh, Spokane, Washington, uh, where I'm from. I would love to have a card in Spokane, and I think it would sell out and just be an amazing show. All right, second question, and it'll be our last question. You have had an incredibly impressive fight career, but if you had to do one thing over or choose to do one thing differently, what would you choose? 
Um, I would have started martial arts at a younger age. You know, I uh, never was involved in any combat sports growing up. I didn't wrestle, didn't do taekwondo, no judo. I threw my first punch ever at 19 years old. And, you know, I haven't uh, looked back since. So I've been able to make a career out of it. So I'm very blessed for that. But I think I would be a lot further along in the game if I would have started combat sports and started training martial arts at a younger age. All right, there you have it, folks. The Venezuelan vixen, she might be fighting for a title next. We don't know. She might be taking the money fight. We'll see.